Yeah, I'm, ha I'm so happy to see our new global strategy is now real. This ambitious strategy has a lot of amazing elements. One, it is co-created by all of us, uh, from top leadership to the staff, from UK to country programs. Through this process, uh, we are able to contribute our part and influence our concerns and thoughts are incorporated in the strategy. On the other hand, uh, the co-creation co uh, process of the strategy development has also made it easier for us to contextualize the strategy elements in the upcoming country strategy development. On the other hand, again, the process has also helped us to enhance our strategy development skills. That again makes it easier uh, for us to develop our own country strategy uh, papers. So it is ours. We are proud of it and it is co-created by all of us. What excites me most with this new uh, global strategy of water aid is actually the level of ambition quite high ambition of reaching 400 million people with water hygiene and sanitation globally in the next 10 years this is something that will require innovative thinking in terms of approaches and partnerships because that target cannot be uh, achieved through uh, business as usual Finally, launching our global uh, strategy for water aid. Quite a lot of work has gone into it. Quite a substantial amount of time and contributions. Congratulations to the whole strategy team. Fantastic work. As we go into launching this um, strategy uh, for water aid, I'm really looking forward to engaging in terms of country programs and taking this forward and enabling us uh, to be able to do our own links to the global strategy. This is very exciting to me because it really synchronized so well with the approach that we have been trying to do in Tanzania around district-wide approach uh, to ensure that um, during the implementation there is focus and this will allow us to generate a lot of evidences and learning that will be used to influence um, the sector but also which could be replicated in other areas uh, once we are done with the area that we will be focusing. So I'm looking forward and I think it's going to be very exciting and uh, a very challenging, but we'll make it and we'll be able to achieve bigger impacts by end of 10 years. I think the most exciting part of the strategy, the entire process has been brilliant, but if I want to pick one thing, it will be from one of the aims. And if it's one of the aims, definitely to be the one on universal access at subnational level uh, and access to wash at that level. For me, this is the most exciting because it's extremely bold, it's extremely uh, challenging, it's also extremely ambitious because achieving universal access at subnational level takes a whole lot. And it's not just what I eat. That's the good thing about this particular strategy, actually. It's something that will ensure that we work with others, work with partners, whether it's government, whether it's other stakeholders, whether it's local organizations or other INGOs and even donors. This universal access will push us to really work with others and see where our strengths are and where the strengths of others are coming and how we connect together to make that change happen at subnational level. It's quite exciting because when you look at the fact that in any of the countries where we do this, we're going to be going into a particular district or a particular region within the country and we're not going to leave until we say wash access for all is possible for this region, for this district. So that's where the excitement comes from. It's frightening, very frightening, but we know it's possible. So that's one of the things that really excites me about this new global strategy. Thank you.